It doesn't really matter, Bootle. Do you understand? Men are visual, we get that. If they find a woman attractive, they get to want to pursue. Marae bane, Bootle ba hao. Bootle koza hore basadi ba khutu khelo ro ulo kwenwa. Hole. Kimon. And banda ba tengi ba tuswa. Hore ba lo kwenya basadi ba teng. Kima swavi hai kuch hore hao tuso ulo monte then you will end up. Oli ui ne ne wankutwa. Otro uzo zengulwa hindota. Ek talik makile. Talik tagate ek tagetile. And other women will stand back and do nothing. Otla taget wa wankutwa. I, I don't know, I, I keep, I watch a lot of videos um, while I am doing my whatever on TikTok. And some of these women that do these TikToks, regular South African women, and I'm like, so I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little just because we got dimples, just because we a beauty spot, just because we got a just because we got a little bit of a little bit just because we are pretty, it, it appears in the fellow we're in danger. Bashe, la bafazi, all over the show. Bashe, do you understand? Kaze, uzobulele no inda bebu ti umuslenje just because your parents gave you good genes. A good, gorgeous daughter is not supposed to be protected. Ubuse, ben tombi, is not supposed to be used as a weapon against her. Do you understand? And yet, kimo, it is being used as a weapon. Kya lika tlalo khanya, basari wa munzanzi. You are without excuse, lamkut. All of this, GBV against you. Frankly, you caused it. You don't deserve it. Koto, you caused it. You, you, you call it, it's again, it's again, it's again, it's again, it's again, it's again, it's what's up, I'm, I'm inside now, uh, okay, yeah, alright, the feel it's a guy, yes, like I said, there's a lot of beautiful women on, online, there's just a lot of beautiful women, at all, uh, in the black community, and for us, to just keep getting slaughtered, like we are sheep, like, going to, the slaughter, like we are cows being prepared for beef. It's just unacceptable, but anyway, whatever. So, just to conclude, the story concerning the alpha lipoic acid. I took it, uh, those, though, like the, basically two more over and above the two that I had taken 20 minutes prior, and I was able to sleep like a baby. So, I realized that dosage was what it is that was at this point imperative to ascertain that I don't have problems anymore. Uh, so this morning, after waking up, well, it wasn't really morning, it was afternoon, like half past 12. I wake up at like, I woke up at like half past 12 and um, I didn't have any pains. I was just completely cool. The pains, however, started to come as I was busy doing the stuff, my stuff around the house, up and down, washing dishes and what have you. I took four. This time around, I just took four all in one fail sweep instead of two and then 20 minutes later, another two. And the whole day, pretty much since like around 1 p.m., it's now... 18.52, so it's almost 7 p.m. at night, uh, I haven't had any period pains. So it's exactly like grandpa now, uh, or any other painkiller. It eradicated my pains. Those pills came to my rescue. Uh, so now I don't have to take it every two hours. Uh, like I said, the, 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 the main thing here was the dosage. I just needed to get the dosage right, and I took four instead of two, and as a result, four about eight to nine hours, I am period pain free. So thank God I did not have to deal with those period pains for the 48 to 36 hours that I tended to endure them back then. The ALA worked, the alpha lipoic acid worked. I'm not recommending this, I'm just letting you guys know what happened. I wouldn't recommend that you take AL, alpha, alpha lipoic acid when you're on your period um, to eradicate pain because just take a regular Mipradol, like just take painkillers as usual because you are not suffering the way that I'm suffering but I explained to you guys that alpha lipoic acid worked for me during a time when nothing else was pulling through. I've got tampons to get me to the end of my period. I've got painkillers to get me to the end of my period but I was supposed to basically use nothing but toilet paper throughout my period and just writhe in bed twisting like a log in it for the duration of time that it would take for my period to subside and in that time grumble against God, feel like trash, and thoroughly, apparently, allegedly, deeply consider being with a man that would have, of course, killed me, but not first before giving me HIV. That is the kind of ridiculousness that is coursing through the veins of the black community. That is how badly we are essentially passing away. And I am trying to evangelize pretty much everybody, be you black, white, pink, or purple, because everybody needs salvation. But I am really, really trying to send out a gargantuan olive branch to the black community's women. To say, y'all, and I've done a video like this before, but you know, I keep coming with different angles to help you understand why this is so important. We get that coming to Christ takes a lot. You have to take up your cross, follow him daily, deny yourself. You also have to count the cost of being a disciple. You have to separate yourself from the world and you, you face a risk of being unpopular 
as a result. You're going to lose family, you're going to lose friends, etc. But that is a small price to pay for the protections that you gain as a black woman from the insanity of the black community. The self-denial and the ostracization of your person, the isolation of your person, the complete disregard of you and the ignoring of your pain. Is th that is a small price to pay for godly protection. That's the reason why these men are working so hard and women to make me abandon Jesus. The jealousy in the black community that is awarded those who give their life to Christ is as exorbitant as it is precisely because of how much we become the exception to the norm and we escape a grain that slaps everybody else. The situation is dire. There is no protection. Nobody takes care of the black woman. Literally nobody. Nobody. No, not the black woman and certainly not the black man. Nobody has our back but us. And uh, by us, I mean not black women as a concert, but you, when, only one, you gotta have your own back. And I'm sorry, you're not gonna have your own back because you got a career. You're not gonna have your own back because you have a car and your own house. Because here in Last the Deal, I keep listening to all of these well-meaning women on, on TikTok, giving advice to black women as to how to protect yourself from a black man. I follow, I don't really follow them because I'm not, I'm not logged on, right? I, I, I've told you guys that before, but they keep getting recommended to me and I listen to them. Their stories are the same, all right? And one lady who is a life coach is counseling women. Like I said, she means well, and frankly, I largely agree with her, and I, and I love her content. But in this particular regard, I couldn't, I couldn't agree with her. Where it is that she was like, women, men treat you the way that you allow them, or men treat you more, no, sorry, rather her commentary was along the lines of men know who to abuse. Thank you, thank you, son. Men know who to mistreat. Men know who to mistreat. So women, stop getting yourselves into relationships with men when you don't have money. Because Uzo Sebenzi he's going to use this money against you. When you don't have your own car, Uzo Gosha out of his car. If you, When you don't have your own house, he's going to tell you at 12 p.m. at night. Get out of my house. Men know who to mistreat. So if you don't want to be mistreated by a man, get all of your own stuff. And make sure you have your own house to go to. You have your own car to drive. Don't even let, let yourself get to a point where your car is not in close, in close proximity to you at any given moment. Don't let him drive you to dates. Don't let him etc. Just take have your own back. Have your own back and always be able to call your own Uber just in case he kicks you out of his house and go back to your own comfortable juvet. And you don't have to have a mansion. The problem, you ladies, is that you want the estate mansion. The problem is that the estate mansion and you any fly, you are prepared to take it at the expense of your peace. They will make you a buy, therefore. So Oplomila, you're sitting in an estate mansion, go to out and there is no quality in your relationship. And I to us a very small extent agree. Or maybe, let me not say small, because that's unfair. Maybe 40% of the way I agree. Only because the way that men are right now in 2024, especially in the black community, they have no respect for where we come from at all. Men used to provide for women and women used to feel safe in their midst. Umfazi did not have to have a job to be safe with her husband. She did not have to have her own car to trust that her man is not going to kick her out of his or refuse to pick her up because after a fight, he's using resources against her. Men were just chivalrous in spite of differences that they had with women. They just got what they needed to do. There was a time when men did not use resources that women had in order to make their lives a living nightmare. Do you understand? What is going on in 2024 is a demon. It's a principality. It's another thing altogether where that which you have or do not have is used to abuse you. And so women are feeling as if they need to go and find protection in having a strong career. They need to have, uh, they find protections in having their own car, their own houses and their own what have you. When you're not looking at the root cause. You're not. You're not just realizing that Hona Lebo Takabana at all. Because this lady speaks about how it is that men know who to mistreat just by mere virtue of the fact that a man can mistreat one woman and yet not another. And this here is determined by nothing but material possessions. Just because this one is able to hold her own, you are better towards her. I'm sorry, that is not a man. I don't know what it is. It's it's the clown. It's Candyman. It is. It's, 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 it's the grudge. I don't know, some horror movie character like Freddy Krueger. It is not a man. It is an opportunist that will literally rear his ugly head and bring forth fangs the moment an independent woman loses that independence for whatever reason because life happens. Like a fair weather monstrosity is not going to take care of you. He is only going to brittle his flesh and hold his horses because you have your own house. You have your own car. You should be safe swinging on a hammock left to right, tranquil, almost like
just like you're on a, a dinghy in the center of a very still lake. Just swaying and let, letting the, 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 the motion of the water move you about, only relaxed, napping. You should be that way as a woman in a relationship in and out of wealth, in and out of a car, in and out of a house, in and out of like family love. A vows in marriage is sickness and in health, good times and in bad, richer for poor. There's a reason why those vows are communicated or spoken or shared or exchanged in marriages because a dude should not be freaking fair weather and neither should a woman. So to give women counsel, and like I said, this woman means well and I really like her and I like her content, but she's not using, she, she, there's a root cause, Lana. I was successful, all right? I had everything I needed. I had my apartment, my cars, lots of clothes, lots of money, lots of ability to take care of my own self. And I had a boyfriend who at the time when I was materially very strong would never have done anything strange against me to a point where I actually thought he was a great guy. I thought he was a great guy. However, the flames that that guy showed me when I lost everything, just like it. I did not lose everything while I was with him. But that ex-boyfriend of mine, because of the bitterness of me refusing to, re to get back together with him, like the amount of witchcraft that he just piled on the insults on the existing injuries that he put on, the reviling, the mistreatment, the witchcraft, the colluding with my family, the... But basically that dude became a beast I never knew. I was with that bugger for five years. And what character flaws he wore in the season of my lack were so shocking to advance that I could not believe that it was the exact same dude. When a person can freaking change like that purely because you lost a job. I'm sorry, you are not safe. Life happens, okay? Life happens. People lose jobs. Like people get retrenched. Businesses tank. And if your husband is going to act some strange fool, because life happened, yeah, but you were never safe. And the thing that I'm trying to highlight right now to women is that invigelo, protection, is from God. Y'all need to understand, it is Jesus that can make a man not fair weather. When you lose a job, or when he finds you a job, ah, shit. A Christian man is not out here in the streets hopping up and down on a beach ball with them. Gune recognition and understanding of our vows, irrespect, intronipo, for a relationship, marriage. Le rato la rato, king ilinya ilinya lo la rato, kibasalwan. And a lot hompa, because rena le instruction from a source that is apart from us. We are guided by the Holy Spirit. We are not guided by the things of this world. If at all a man can treat you like trash, ngoba onam sebenzi, ha de sisters. You're not safe. You are never going to be safe. Need to learn and daughter for five years, Yonke. One bonus are my flames only causing me to take air. Even before I lost my job, we were cordial. After breaking up, it was me losing my job that made him a monster. So the, the counsel of that lady, while she means well, and she's trying to help women along. Bottom line is, if at any given moment you find yourself in a dry patch and you are therefore now not safe with your husband, you were never safe with him at all. The only thing that was protecting you was material possessions which can flee out the window. Brick and mortar, which can pulverize because of extreme heat. You are dealing with an unstable, shaky foundation and you can find yourself in the grave. Because the otherwise regular normal dude that was respectful and loving. The fact that I'm in the day, just to, just to have a man at all in your life that can kick you out of injury. A ski system. The same guy, mother told her girlfriend, Angela, that has her own house. That chick is still in danger. Usa semanzina shisalgabi. The the woman who can't be successfully kicked out and do create any dent in this guy's heart or life. The woman that a guy can't take out a kugu on. Usa senkinge ni she's still emanzina shisayo man. Because Lenja Lena in a potential. You gumko shenzi nyake. When Lenzu ya kona iri possess one gopa ula sekelo msebenzi uri tenchi. You need Christ. That is going to put you in the life of Indota. Because you had an argument. You are told by some animal. Just yes, like it. With like that. With like that. All of your emotions in Jefala just ignored. Nambi Pambi bugger. Not out here trained up by God. And so yeah, Zuk Telela Ngoba. E E E Avenue Yok Telela E Corner. Gunel Leg Room Yok Telela. So we are Telela. Basadi Telega Seba Lega Seba Rato Le Rato Hakalo Lega Seba Le Rato Hakalo to a point where you will ignore Amat Lering Red Flags. It is not about making sure that you have everything in 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 a bunch. 
before you get in a relationship it is about the fact that it's untrustworthy to be with a dude that can't treat you well mongi na matempon me bantu bagit bagini batita like rubbish this woman was even speaking about indota be careful o ngai tell you onke into don't tell a man everything don't don't tell him abo sisba kuma wa tandi don't tell him when your sisters don't love you when your mom treats you like trash if at all you cannot be transparent full through with with your husband about what's going on in your life and trust him to be good to you in spite of what's going on around you lenjala e fair weather I tembeki nakancane a person should not be utile should not use whatever is lacking in a person's life in order to gain any kind of advantage against that individual a godly man will love you with or without family a godly man will adore you only an orphan or sarati a godly man will not treat you like trash because abangani bakho abena ndabanawe a godly man is not going to tell you pumenti nyam when you have an argument Yes like it he will go in the bedroom close the door and breathe or in and of himself he'll take his keys get go out take a drive aquatil and then come back he might even maybe greet you at tsuputsimulo maraga se go kobin tlo there's a way to fight that's godly there's a way to disagree tever bad day with each other ningandlulana first stop go passaging lesa di medisane mara a go kube to kick you out or 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 go ngaphela or verbally abuse you Ashem, when you come to Aquata, and I'm a Quatile, you get to Boni Sugu to Quatile. Maybe like I said, two pull them along. Aba kudu medisa or hello. Come along, we're just feeling caro. Jela matlab. Mara wa du medisa anyway. You can pass a person shade. You can sleep in two different bedrooms. Man Quatile. Mara, you don't get to say pumen zinyam or pumen motwenyam. Middle of the N1 highway, Lenja lays or stop a wheel yellow lane and says pum yo, 'cause you're fighting. Kabang. Where is safety in that? Such men. Me I expect I'm in a routine you accommodate and enter there and when such thing giving you call women and your store back you go over it and come on then o gang that tell anko i weighing busiku because we argue o tong siang high out on a limb in a no network zone just like just leave me there and drive off yo 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 ngas go ni eh i'm a woman i need protection i need to know good team and is over here my daughter that god has given me that a man hang what they say might drive a little bit faster cuz he's a bit upset but he will drive all the way home he might bang the door hard that out kena montlun but nonetheless that door that is banging seke kene ke na wa go kena ma last he might sleep on the couch but at least ngilele ndinyam that he's paid for ibond yonke eh ya ke abere anyisho cuz it's his pain my way if at all a man can not love me despite anything that i'm struggling with empilwen i'm in danger especially in the black community ratra pi wa ratra tumpwa man We get taken for granted. I've been on Daba Nati. They don't care. You are not gonna find protection. You are not Basadi. It is not about having your own something or your own whatever. Because at the end of the day, please let's just put it out there. Life happens. Jonga nukara bin pilu yenza gele mina did it not. Never did I thought in my life mina nshagan penga gaga. Mfunde ganga gaga. Msebenze ganga gaga. That I would ever struggle to afford. I'm a grandpa. I'm a my proto for my period or even I'm a tampon for that matter. And yet look at me. And in the season. ke batla ke bana ba ntse ba itse tsong re ne ke tla go kgela ke tla go rakela tsa di tempon mo thwatenye o thwele mamlambo ka o fela no ga ana ka ana khonda ka o fela slithering mo go di ma rofa rofo ya gagwe o tlwetsa ang bela mosalwane a man that is that demon possessed ka se a ka zo manifesta ma demon it's bad enough ni a tlapwa ni ngena jeso how much more will a man o loyang o satane gatana o tlesing ka korobela how much more is it going to manifest o tla ni ang fulo bota mina at the hands of a man Hey Batung, nseng ha ta take a car accident, multi car vehicle pile up like some kind of carnage in Jefela where my body is disembodied. All of my limbs be flown all across the streets of Johannesburg. They wake it talk of it and have a look at thing. Throw me off a building any day but I'm not going to die at the hands of a man that I lay with at night. Ha go bula wa ke monana that has ever had my body. Ha go bula ke monna who's who I have ever delivered children for. I get to bula ke my intimate partner. Gender based violence I'm sorry I was not born for that thing. I spent uh, like proper kike rapela day and night in for the protection against amatota boli lengo ba they are my pet peeves so nkampane ka lo bulawa ke anything else ke lo se khwa ke something in effect la nkutwa ke tlhoka fela nje fela botlhoko ke utle pain e nngwe ke we mo haram mountain lava ka pos the way go tlhoka fela nje fela botlhoko ka teng fast and furious before na ke lo bulawa ke monna fast and furious before ke lo bulawa ke monna and i know that that's a thing because nya ba avoid that's my strategy I guess by if in dot I fun so much I need by I nanda ba that I don't ever my temples and I eco it her lamp ka twen that can ever go mona wake obolile we penina that is ever going to neglect me to a point where I will accommodate injenya nanda ba nenda ba yokuthi ngizwe ohlu ezijele ukuthi he is going to put me in even more pain 
just so I will finally take whatever offer he has to give me. Along for Marlon, I descend. Kina, you know now we get the child back. Mar, I can't go on because I can't block it. Um, TV la out here, thinking that he type it's a whole blog. I can't keep my two mum lambo. We are tagata lenja. We are tagata. And the type of guy to uh, I'm not jail. We go to unen mulaza. Ah, fabricate our text results. We call now just so he can give it to you. Labanto abana mates el they have no scruples. Although tata and in times alwani that's been celibate waiting on Christ for thirteen years. Versi um niggas mulaza. So so kelas kati in mulaza. So so kelas kati mina. I've been waiting on Christ. For a husband, for 13 years, I've been celibate. Listen, you love it, the first time I have sex again after 13 years, I am out here contracting HIV. Kaban, kaban. Kin chose kiri bonang zo by the grace of God. Kin a less spiritual gift, and it's caused me this level of fever to avoid. Less inja less. But women, it's not gonna do anything for you. To think that you can protect yourself by simply having material strength, like I said, life happens. And la bafas la baba bole so much lime katwen. These women are so rotten. They are so disgusting that because ola kekelo umsebenzi ba zoka pa ngoba ba nomo na vel they will ditch you they will ditch you they will leave you high and dry so that you will settle for usizo wako na that all along you've had some like um, some kind of way bad strong gut feeling guy you've had a gut feeling eh eh yom saba Mount Everest ain't got jack on your gut feeling the way it is so tall but these chickens will leave you high and dry ba zok pe misa inya upe yendo te e e tsiria no ankutwa throw you out on a limb ba kula kelo ko highway ying with oncoming vehicles AZ20 that can't stop on time just so we can all you know kumbaya and celebrate being able to relate with one another masin nikes we ingula zanga matota etu lenja ele yase america he keeps on regretting the one night stand that he had claiming to be a christian he wasn't even supposed to be fornicating he regrets his one night stand because he feels as if though if at all he didn't do his one night stand he wouldn't have contracted hiv and so he would be with me lenja le regrets the one night stand and not so much the sin against god of fornication that's the problem so If at all he did not contract Levara Sekona and I ended up married to him, ah, he was eventually gonna get it. Most, if at some point, it was just a matter of when. It was because he was already he was a fornicator. So a man that can avoid HIV for long enough to marry you, shame askis, because he's not going to avoid it in the marriage. Uzognigeza yo. Now what protects you from a man uzognigeza in ulaza guys? What or rather correction? Who? It is God. Mona wabu sawa ba sadi bana. Yes, like it, but it's feverish. It's a beast. One kutwa. Kipoho folo kitau. Mona wadi chirite. Bata ko lasha la pela mona otsiria ning okula wana nidi STD twenty. Umsula uivishi. Uintombi nto. Bazo lasha la window tal that sleeping with twenty women in one month. Ofufuri la di chirite fifty. Bese bazo lasha la bazo lasha la intombi nto to a man like that. Ngaba faza wando amia malabo. Mona wabu. It's beastly. Mona wabu na it's beastly. Hana mutu obatang. Protection. Baba bate sireleto kaniti. Baba tanga fela ora kwa fela rulo kumbai ara rulo leader. Leta baro na rat rap wa rat lap wa. Rulo leader. Kata baro na rat ravaswa. Rulo leader. Kata baro na rat hotin gula zako bana baro na bara flat la media ni flat pele chuka moni isi si leader. Ba e whatever virus is like vaginal wards. Kwa fela chanzo ringwa e in a nether regions. And in so far as song kesi busy to kuyama antibiotics to overcome is super gonorrhea. Sigrand singa ba impinge. But before then uzoka pa la botigin. They will neglect you. So much of us are ushuwe ganga, and this is a problem in particular for black women. Ushuwe ganga by women by bazo glasela, like I said, in the middle of of a highway. Ko N1 busi yuko. Osa bona halwa perdi a parote dinso. Wotla di traka te tre. Muto to kusi angorolo roll wa over kiri kolo yorba ko bulai. Olo tola fela ose ngale zati le chaba. Olo di di pi di pori pasta kaho. Yo olo ka haraf. The way o bulai lo kaba to kuhateng. Kaba sadi bali happy ko kusi a oleda. Ke ma ngotlo go tlosang ma hawe e o before traka ya 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 kala e go e e e go rola e go drive before the first truck hits you before you chase go ya b1 o bo chase and then the rest of them tsa ko mo rago di vela fa di go flat in di tsa means me dikabo ka mmelwa hao and e fela ha le tsa tle tshabi le ke hona ba to tlhola mmelwa hao and i speak like this cuz my mom you should know this one cop back in the day ipoisa they would tell us the, the gruesome horror stories of some of the scenes that he had basically been at and and one of the scenes the dude was was knocked over at night Which is to go to Ibusi. Ana motho bone ngo rona le motho tla ka fetseng until it's a tsile chap. And overnight o rotswe ke ko ke ke traka. Ki di di BMW everything je fela just over the body. Until in the morning it became clear which but some people have been driving over a dead body. It's not a carcass ya animal, it's a human being. Until somebody discovered which you guys have been driving over literally a human being. And then they quarantined the scene and apparently they had to pick up his body parts ka kharaf. 
Our friends, we are sheer unjust. Uyo, because we want to be said, the rest of them ride over your body, and your body parts get collected. Nyakarafu, because the negligence will have been so intense that I'll be out of bond. I'll go to Shonile for a good 48 hours. Meluaka kuta boka na unga, ugu mungo wa putrefaction, wangu mungo wa decomposition will be the thing that will alert your neighbors to understand you to muntu ushonish. Bese wena uyo picto up nyakaraf. Chanzo kolo krimetu amona because kaka rekase bele le 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 any other kind of burial. Chanzo rekase krimet krim cremation. Cause ayo engwe, ayo engwe sel. Everything else is too disturbing. You are unidentifiable. Not even your mother's health records. You have been uh, DNA. That's the only way out. DNA test. That's the only way that you can ever discover what you're going to do. Mm. That's what's good. That's what's good. That's what's good. Women are the ones that put you in a position where you're going to roll like you're going to roll. You're going to roll like you're going to roll. You're going to bind your hand and foot. You're going to roll. 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 Who's going to remove you super, supernaturally from there? Ain't no man going to be able to come to you on time. Ain't no reasonable dude going to remove you from that space. You need Christ to protect you and to supernaturally deliver you from wicked women. In front of a moving truck of disgusting men. People in the black community, guys, in a family, like in your family, in your family. To ease each other, don't deserve you. But that, but born our money like it's ten for the price of one, and just run with it. By your draw, Janji. Now, mama, get 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 the mum lambo zabona. Who is going to protect you? Who? Christ is the only one that can have your back when your mother and father forsake you. The black community is presently in disarray and very mentally ill. In the run up to them recovering, if at all, you need protection. In the run up to the black community coming out of their little schizophrenic era, who is going to save you and your daughters? Because nobody has our back as black women. Again, I'm, uh, it's literally every man for himself. Unfortunately, we are supposed to one another with one another. As black women, unless we turn to Jesus, he's the only one that can protect you from some idiot that insists to get on your tampon on your period. Don't talk about guys who would like to feel period pains without medication. Mara, it's a means to an end to him. God, I was pain don't mean jack. In the embassy, Zako during that time don't mean jack. In the you are second guessing God during that time don't mean jack. In the you you are bashing your fist, you are feeling forsaken, you are feeling alone, you are feeling suicidal. They don't care because it's a means to a freaking end. It's a means to an end. Manjal, Manjal, what are you gonna do when you need salvation from that? Jesus, they will literally order events so as to orchestrate your eventuality in your in their lives. Basa ko chane le ba seri ane ba na ba en on top of that ba kula ha se ku kwenye di ARV mara ba ba tla ba sadi ba 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 already ba kwenzi si se ba sadi ba bona di ARV mara ba ba tlo long kanya si enwe ba tlo kwenzi sang di ARV vie vie wongu muti lam katwa nuga mela kuya ma ARV nuga lama tota abas ba is kelem se ho habana di brigi habana full stop ke sentence ka ofela nja fela paragraph o tlam day one a enza itswa la pele le pele ana ha kona koma ha kona exclamation mark ha kona underscore nothing no punctuation ha kona full stop ha kona di brigi if it is a drive ha kona di stop sign ha kona yield ha kona call the sake ha kona round about ha kona t junction ha kona robot o nothing mo tswatsa ma nja fela bro 250 kilometers down go highway ing ha na ta ba reke nya tlo atlo atlo hitang animal or a human being top of that in and of himself a head on collision aba Bye. I'm gonna make brig. I'm not gonna make brig because I'm gonna deliver one nini from the vehicle and just like that's just going and going and going. I'm gonna deliver one nini from a paragraph. It's a paragraph. Paragraph. Any in a grammatical sense. It's lamped in just like young. I'm gonna full stop. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna underscore. Who is going to deliver you from that echo? From that incoherent freaking sentence? Who? Who is going to end deliver you from that incoherent man? That is no full stop. No comma. No underscore, no yield sign, no T-junction, no robot, no full stop, nothing. We are Ambanji. Just go, go, go. Takes whatever he wants. And by the end of his life, you look at the littered cadavers in these streets. The strewn dead bodies, the carnage behind him of women that he has laying waste. We are Tatanja, Bota, 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 and Jogo Mangomandosa. Having given, I don't know how many women HIV in the run-up to, like Ukabzela. Having given, I don't know how many women in the run-up to Banjai. Who is going to protect you from these men? I kid you not, it's not going to be your car. It is not going to be the fact that you have your own house or the fact that you have a strong career. It's going to be a God who can tell you, he's trying to replace me. He's trying to replace me. He's trying to make you walk away from him because you don't have tampons on your period. He is trying to replace me because you don't have, have painkillers on your period. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. I am trying to help you guys understand, Guti. There is no safety. In your own little self-protection, there is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end, it leads to destruction. 
at ako tawi sa ako ni sa wine ni harap kita mo balot hak balot hoko falaki full blown aids ilo rekin mang dapat na pinu nursing them on their deathbed who hospiceness when so you hospiceness mo 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 i girlfriend eh eh tango lang matempon koto na yung ro hospiceness the very same guy ug ni ug ni kasi i hiv you are nursing him on his deathbed gunjal who's wild How in the world are you going to take that in your stride? Who is going to protect you from that eventuality? Girlfriend, I was thinking it's clamorous. The black community is cantankerous. It's loud. It's noisy. It's 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 gony. It's showy. Ha kuna pumul. Cause kya sha nyo lam ka kwenye ra toriswa kibana dar o kasi mo solishem until you lose something and then next thing he rears his ugly head. Gushkuti ake abe kwa bena disensi. It's not just the blue collar randos about la pobo tigin. It even the ones by white collar. Ha kuna ha kuna serelezo other than injeso. We are alone as black women nobody is coming for us no white man no white woman no indian man no indian woman no one not even no black woman we are uniquely and individually responsible to take care of ourselves and there's no one o ka re tsireletsang ka nnete other than god because spiritual weapons in the black community who shame o thakatha a a se ke go rata go robela keng a se ke go rata sabotage a se ke go rata pose rata for money to fit a se ke go rata nka career a se ke go rata foster mo sedu lalo ba le ngwana a re wedlock a se ke go rata o khosa basadi ba ba ntle ba leng viable le go lo nyala go 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 sa go sa nyalwe ba telephone with the single that will get manipulated with spiritual weapons who is going to protect the individual unique black woman akuna mundulana other than jesus christ shame ikreya kwa izok sisa ngoba nayo ingalahleka any minute now why because there's in the baba sabotage ba loya ube o lahlegelwe ke career that you never thought you could ever lose top of your class best experience won't come to is head hunting you on linkedin and yet next thing good try why cuz lesinza lesinza zipogile some high priestess has come at you cuz someone decided that you needed to be tripped up black people tina the way that we are so up and down up and down in our careers the way rela khlo nke mesebetsi a strangely gating the way re trentwang ha botlo go gateng er ntse re le qualified like you proper uba stable next thing you are facing the loss of ibond yakho ngoba you have lost a job and just like that the the ons and offs of our lives I have no stability. I have such a thing as motho osebedite from the time I tadile as a metriki all the way up until I retire without there being some kind of a patch or a season where you were facing repossession of a house. You were facing a kids getting taken out of private school. You were forever to our lives are just so up and down up and down like that cuz kwa lo aywa. Motho can just be truly successful through and through because I mean really if ufundile and if you are highly skilled why should you ever be unemployed again from the time you work your first job the skills exodus in the country and the skills lack in the country is such that you should never ever be out of a job because akuna my skills are sufficient the government has has as confirmed that themselves or there is a skills lack in the country so njengoma o so skilled njengoma o funde ngangaka ngangaka why unga employ ke why was why only unemployable o tlile jwang go tlobala se o dula ko high for 6 months o tlile jwang go dula ko high for months for for jaga ka ofela o tlile jwang go re bonde e we in sitseng 2 years ago you are facing having to sell gangane or repossession kanjani o fundile o graduateile and you gain the experience kodwa a gwazi ukuthola umsebenzi for 2 years yonke such rubbish happens in the black community over and over and over again who is going to protect you from loksanga na kwethu who i i need the bathroom